dear Katerina, thank you. Thank you very much for your warm words, for your, for your hospitality. It is a great pleasure uh, for me to be amongst friends here in Sofia and to have the opportunity to meet with the state and political leadership of Bulgaria. We are, as you very rightly said, we're close partners, allies and friends. And today we play a key role in our region's stability and the development, and we are sparing no effort to contribute to our neighbor's European path. It is therefore only natural that both our countries are committed to reinforce their cooperation on the bilateral and the regional level. Next year, as you mentioned during our talks, we celebrate 140 years of diplomatic relations. And this will be a great opportunity to set the foundations for an even more substantial and mutually beneficial cooperation. As you know, we are the one of the major investors in Bulgaria, and we always encourage Greek investors to come and invest in your friendly country, and at the same time, we invite Bulgarians, uh, potential investors in Greece. Minister Zakarieva and I exchange views on a wide range of bilateral European and regional issues. In addition, we discussed issues that have to do with multilateral schemes that we both participate. In this context, Greece is ready to host the fourth high-level cooperation council, which will give new impetus to our cooperation. Regarding European Union issues, we discussed the various challenges the Union faces, especially in the recent period. My colleague and I also talked about energy issues. I reiterated my government's desire to conclude the intergovernmental agreement on the Greece-Bulgaria gas interconnector project, the IGB. I also stressed to the minister, and I had the chance to say this to the prime minister, that we fully support Bulgaria's effort to join the Eurozone and the Schengen area. Greece is a pillar of stability and cooperation in the Balkans and has always been a supporter of the European Union enlargement policy. We encourage and support the European perspective of the Western Balkan countries on the conditions that they meet, of course, the set criteria and conditionalities. In this context, and regarding the Republic of North Macedonia, we place particular importance to the full and consistent implementation of the PRESPA agreement. In closing, I would like to say that I inform Minister Zakharieva regarding Turkey's illegal conduct in the broader area. As you know, despite the European Union's strong and clear messages and the international community's concern, as they have explicitly been expressed, Turkey continues to violate international law by its ongoing illegal activities with the territorial waters and the exclusive economic zone of the Republic of Cyprus, which is a European Union member. It is also demonstrating an increasingly dangerous conduct in the Aegean. Once again, dear colleague, thank you for your warm hospitality, which I look forward to reciprocate in the closest opportunity. Thank you very much.